How y'all doing? What's up, y'all? Hi, 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 hi. How's everyone doing tonight? Give me a thumbs up in the chat if you can hear me. Obviously, this is a completely different setup than usual. So please give me a thumbs up in that chat right now if you can hear me. I want to make sure y'all can hear me. Hey, Ellis. Hey, everyone in the chat. I hope y'all are doing fabulous tonight. I am doing amazing. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling great. Um, so I'm really excited to kind of do this little, you know, do this live because it's been a minute. So I just hope that you got, you know, I can answer some questions, but I do want to update everybody on my life because I've heard so many people, you know, who I'm usually on their panels and whatnot. And they've gone like, Kayla, where are you? Where is Kayla? Where did I go? I went from being on YouTube every Tuesday. What was it? No, Monday, Thursday, and like sometimes Wednesday. And now I'm not on at all anymore. Um, so y'all, I just been really busy. Thank you so much, baby. Thank you, B. Taylor. Hey, Ellis. Thumbs up. Okay, y'all can hear me. Perfect, perfect. Um, so let's start with some housekeeping notes. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up right now. Make sure you are subscribed to the channel and make sure you drop me a comment down below. If you are watching the playback, how you doing? I guess you wasn't available on a Sunday night. You had to watch the playback, but make sure you are subscribed to the channel, baby. I appreciate it so, so, so much. Um, also big shout out to all of my partners and everybody on um, YouTube, shout out to Pink District, one of our major sponsors. Uh, we appreciate your contribution to the channel. Thank you so, so, so much. Big shout out to the Monet Group, Refresh, Create, Innovate Your Brand, Interior Design, all of that. And shout out to the show, Today with Kay. I have a big announcement about Today with Kay later today. So I'm super excited about that. Um, so shout out to all my other partners in the Manosphere, uh, not in the Manosphere, but just everywhere in general. Um, and I really appreciate everyone who, you know, supports me and supports the channel. So this is a different setup. Okay. Yes. Kayla is in her kitchen. Kayla cooks. Okay. Kayla loves cooking and, uh, me and Bay cook together a lot. So, you know, in a few months, maybe we'll, you'll see us cooking together. I don't know, but he's on my nerves right now. So, um, what's for dinner? We want to know what's for dinner. So what I'm going to do is we're going to start with what's for dinner. We're going to start with what we're drinking and pairing with dinner. And then we're going to get into where has Kayla been, answer some of these questions, respond to some of these haters. I see a lot of people making a lot of content and making mad money off of Kayla and talking about Kayla. So I definitely want to address some of those things. Okay. So tonight we are having baked pesto ravioli. This is chicken. You can do this with any like other protein that you want, but chicken pesto ravioli is my thing. Baked chicken pesto ravioli. This is one of my specials. I love this. Everyone that knows me knows this is my thing, right? And I usually make my own pesto sauce, but honey, it didn't go like that today. So we're going to get, I picked up my favorite pesto sauce, but I want to do one where a longer, this live is only an hour. You know what I'm saying? So I do want to do one where I make the pesto from scratch, but that probably won't happen tonight. So what are we pairing with the chicken pesto, right? A Bordeaux. I spoke about this on Ready to Love. I don't know if you guys remember, but I definitely spoke about the importance of having different wine varietals in your life. I think over here, what do I got? That's a Malbec. We're not doing Malbec today. We're going to stick with the Bordeaux. Okay. Okay. So this is Le Port de Bordeaux. Uh, it's a 2020 product of France, Grand Vin de Bordeaux. Um, Bordeaux is basically a red blend. Um, this one's really good. I'm really excited. So we're going to go ahead and pop this one open and get started with this one. Um, I don't know why I got a, uh, why, why do I have a damn, why do I have a damn can opener? Instead of a wine opener. 
I don't know, y'all. Things get sticky, you know? But we're going to go ahead and get this open. Uh, but yeah, so guys, a little update on me and my life, right? So as you guys may have recently seen, I was on one of the newer episodes of Eight at the Table. If you don't know what that is, go on Instagram, go on YouTube, check them out. Uh, but yeah, so it's called Eight at the Table. I was in New York for my friend's birthday and Eight at the Table. So I kind of planned those. I planned that all around the same time to kind of make that happen. But I'm super, super grateful. Thank you to Eight at the Table for inviting me. Um, I had a great time. And, um, you know, we got spicy over there. We talked about a few things. So one thing I like to do about my red wine is I like to let it get a little bit of air. So after you open it, you don't just immediately pour it. I actually let it sit for a couple minutes and let it get some air because I don't have a decanter. If I had a decanter, it would be different. I would just decant it and then just drink it immediately. But since I don't have a decanter, I'm just going to let it sit a couple minutes before we pour up. Um, how I how I feel like I need to pour up. Prosecco it is. Girl, I was going to do Prosecco, but the pesto, a red goes with pesto a little bit better. So tonight we're pairing the pesto with Brussels sprouts. I love Brussels sprouts. Um, and these are probably one of my favorite, like absolute favorite green greens when it comes to the vegetable lifestyle. So you got to have greens. And for the chicken, I already got that started. I'm glad the way that I did this so y'all can kind of see. But this is how I prepare my chicken, vinegar, water, and lemon. And I let that sit. I let that do its thing because I think it's really important to clean your chicken. So my chicken is doing its thing. I'm going to pour that off of the chicken, rinse it, and then we will go ahead and season it. So we're going to work on that right after we put the Brussels sprouts in the, uh, right after we put the Brussels sprouts in the oven. So we have, I have everything here. Everything's here. All the seasonings, uh, the Parmesan. This is the Asiago Parmesan mix, which I love because there's Asiago and pe uh, Pecorino inside of my ravioli. So definitely don't forget. Yes. I'm so happy you're what? Uh, 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 wine and dine. Yes, it's a wine and dine, honey. It's a wine and dine. And this is this is what I look like when I'm in the kitchen. You know, you just throw on a little, you got to keep it cute. You just throw on a little dress, you know, no, no, you know. Um, yes, a wine and dine all the way. Uh, I'm so happy you're cooking because I'm cooking as well. Oh, girl, I'm sure you look beautiful. I'm sure you do. I'm sure you do. Don't even worry about it. Shout out to Daryl Long. Thank you, baby. I actually love cooking. Um, I was a big cook in college. That's where it really started because me and my college boyfriend used to cook together. And I remember the first time I made something for him from scratch, it was full pork barbecue egg rolls. Y'all, I made these from scratch. They're amazing. You know what? I'm going to make them for on one of these episodes of Cooking with Kayla. I'm going to make them. But what we're also going to have is a guacamole. I'm going to make a guacamole from scratch as well. So let's get started on this, y'all, because we don't have all day. Um, but I am going to start with the topic of uh, talking about the haters. And then we'll go ahead and get into post ready to love, uh, relationships. Um, and then we'll take some questions from the chat um, and see, you know see what that's looking like okay <laughs> so let me see i'm gonna get brussels sprouts in the oven then put the chicken on then make the guac i kind of want the guac now because i'm hungry but yeah no because we still have to bake we still have to bake our ravioli with the chicken and everything so let's go ahead and i'm gonna put the chicken to the side let that sit always put an ice cube in there so it still can stay cold um, and we're going to go ahead and get started with this. So in, uh, okay. So what did I say I was starting with? <laughs> what did I say I was starting with? Oh, the haters. Okay. So I saw quite a few comments from people who watched eight at the table and honey, y'all got a lot to say. Okay. There was a lot of things being said, <laughs> um, but I really want to kind of talk about failure 
because for some reason people take failure or because something didn't work out, they see it as a negative or they see it as an issue. Um, so like the topic of my two engagements came up, right? Um, let's start here. I genuinely don't believe a good deal of men that are my age or close to my age are marriage minded. I just don't think that. Like, I know that y'all say that on YouTube, but I talk to people in real life and uh, I don't see that. Even the really good guys that I see were like engaged, engaged, oh, sorry, y'all. The really good guys who I see like were with their girlfriend since Howard, mind you, it's been nine years, right? Are either just getting married, just got engaged or still not engaged, right? There is a few, there's quite a few people who over these last two years, the marriage boom with all my friends and people I went to school with has increased, right? But if, if nobody was 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 getting married like that five years ago, that wasn't really happening because I just I think that especially when it comes to certain types of men, they want to be financially in a place to be able to give you a nice wedding, a nice ring, all these things. Like that's just how a lot of men, especially educated men, you know what I mean? Like my good friend's a chef, a doctor, a nurse. Uh, uh, financial, you know, they, they want to have all the things so they can do all the things. That's not just women that want that. Men want that too. They want to wear red bottoms at their wedding. They want to have baby showers where they throw in money. Men want that too. You know what I'm saying? So I think that there's a misconception that all these men are just ready to be married. I just happen to come across two men that were. So to me, I see that as a good thing. You know what I'm saying? Like, if the relationship isn't going towards marriage or an engagement, then, then like, what are we doing for all these years? You know what I'm saying? So every, most, all the guys that I date know that that's what I mean that. You know what I'm saying? And once you are engaged, you will understand <laughs> how much you start learning about each other, right? And I just don't think that, especially when you don't live together, because y'all know I don't, I don't do the shocking, like I don't live with, I don't live with anyone that I'm not married to. So once you get engaged and you move in together and you start planning a wedding, a life together, sharing funds in a different kind of way, lots of things just come up. Things be coming up. Okay. And so the first time things came up that just really didn't work along with the whole he didn't want children thing. And then the second time, which was more recent, I mean, he still wants to be together. To be perfectly honest, I, I'm not, I'm not in that space, you know, but he still wants to be together. So <laughs> I don't, you know what I'm saying? The doors, the doors, let's not talk about no doors. So anyway, <laughs> um, let's see what y'all saying in the chat. I'm about to put the Brussels sprouts on just so y'all seeing right now, what I'm doing is I'm cutting the little bunts off because I don't like those. Those don't taste good. So I'm just cutting them off. They're they're really disgusting. So I'm almost done cutting these off. And then I'm going to season these and throw these in the pan. Let me put the oven on 350 is what I cook the Brussels sprouts on. And then I'll turn the oven down to 300 once I put the baked ravioli in. Um, for This first meal is something that I make all the time. It's a favorite. Uh, and so I'm excited about it. Um, Let's see how y'all doing in the chat. What up? What up? Um, did I really leave the Peep Network? If so, what happened? Okay, you know, listen. I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna say something brief because I do plan to do a full video on the breakdown of that day. Um, but what what I will say is this. I respect very much Lapeef Jr. and I appreciate the opportunity that he gave me, bringing me on his network, making me a part of the ca the cast or whatever you want to call it, and and I appreciate that. And he has left the door open and invited me back multiple times. And who knows, one day maybe things will change. But I'm just not in that space in my life at this point. And I just thought it was best that I part ways with Lapeef at this point in my life. Um. It honestly doesn't have to do with anybody. It doesn't have to do with JR. It really has to do with deal with everybody else. Um, even though JR, you know, you get on my nerves. Yep. 
Uh, <laughs> but it really just has to do with everyone else and a lot of the different situations that I just don't feel I need to be putting myself in um, on a regular basis to be like a, an employee any longer. So that's just where I'm at with that. I appreciate the question. Thank you. The don't run jacket up the ghetto. Girl, I'm trying to stay out the ghetto because y'all know, I mean, I don't like corny ghetto. I mean, I like a little ghetto, not corny ghetto though. No. Ella said, I got married when I was 32. We was engaged for around a year and a half. Yeah, honey. I mean, that's the thing. At least you got proposed to. I mean, I'm saying though. I'm saying no, because my homegirl, shout out to her, not going to say who she is. She just got engaged, but she had to be with that man for, we was together for like nine years before she got a ring. So, I mean, let's not act like dudes are out here buying rings left, left and right because they're not. But I also take marriage very fucking seriously. And I just don't feel like I can go through with it if I feel like there are major red flags and things like that. That's just not, that's just not it. You know what I mean? That's just not it. So um, I'm going to get married when I feel like the time is right with the right person. All right, y'all, let's go ahead. We need to go ahead. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a little baking tray like this, right? We're going to take a little baking tray. We are going to fill it up with some olive oil. Now, y'all can do whatever y'all want, but I buy, this is what I buy, right? I buy the extra virgin olive oil cold pressed from Italy, right? From Trader Joe's, right? So I just put this in the pan like this here. Then what I do is I add the Brussels sprouts to the pan. This is probably the easiest part other than the beans, right? And then I just kind of shake it around. I put maybe a little bit more. Try to shake it around, make sure all of it gets kind of coated. Yep, and like that. Then what I go ahead and go and do is I add these two. This is all I add. This is it. And these things are fire. I promise you they're fire. Garlic powder and steak seasoning. Yes, steak seasoning. Yes, steak seasoning. Uh, thank you, DeSosa. I, hear, I get DMs. I get DMs about this all the time. Um, wait, hold on. The show isn't the same. I get DMs about this all the time. So I do appreciate the love for people that like love me and like, yo, the show isn't the same. Nothing's the same, yo. We had, it was so good. When it was good, it was so good. You know, it just is what it is now. Um, I wish them the best over there. Again, you and Kay need to strike it back up for sure. I do have an announcement about that later into the show. Dance, cook, sing, clean. <laughs> Mary, what's going on, child? Um... I rather be happy than be married. And if I can't do it in tandem, then I'm just going to stay single. Because I think that, I mean, and statistically, when you look at the statistics, women's mental health suffer more when they're married than when they're single. So if I know I'm going into a toxic situation, why would I do that? I'm, there, there are a couple of people that I've turned down that I do think back and say, hmm, he could have been a good guy, you know, but do you force attraction? Mm. So anyway, steak seasoning, you do very, very little garlic powder, like literally that much. That's it. Little garlic powder. And then you go in with your steak seasoning and you, you make sure that's all over it. Right. And then you shuffle it around. Make sure it gets on everything. Everything's on everything. A little bit more. This has a lot of salt in it. So don't do too much steak seasoning because it does have salt. Unless you can find a non-salt steak seasoning. But I got the cheap one, so it definitely got salt in it. And voila. And that's it. And then we just go ahead and put this in the oven. And we let that do its thing. So we out the way with the veggies. Veggies are in. And those are going to stay in probably like 20 minutes, to be honest. So that's trash. All right. The Bordeaux has sat out long enough. So let's go ahead and pour her up. Woo. So we do a little swirl to let the uh, let the oxygen get into the wine. Mm. Smells amazing. 
Woo! So good. Okay, so cheers, everyone. Kayla, welcome back to the regular scheduled program. I will be here Wednesday, like I have been in the past. Every Wednesday, 8.30, baby, I'm back. Okay, y'all about to see me. Woo! That, oh my goodness. Uh, ooh, perfecto. Delicious. This is so good. So make sure y'all, I'm going I'm to put, I'm going to put, y'all can't see that shit. I'm going to put, I'm going to put the name of the Bordeaux in the, um, this is not, and I swear to God, this is not even expensive. I think this bottle is like $10 or, okay, no, it's like $15, but $15 is, 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 is decent. You know what I'm saying? That's decent. I mean, cause like, if you want like some, I mean, you'd be paying like $50 for a bottle of wine and I drink a lot of wine, so I'm not about to be, that's a lot, you know? Um, but yeah, so cheers. Yes, honey. Yes, honey. Bruiser has questions. So marriage doesn't include happiness. I've been out the game. Someone please put me in. No, marriage should include happiness. But if you are not happy with the person that wants to marry you, if you don't see, if there are major red flags that you are able not able to work through, through the three years we were together and the seven months we were engaged, you shouldn't marry them. Like, you know what I mean? And my fiance isn't somebody that has like a ton of money. You know what I mean? I will be getting my assets caught up into a situation as well. It wouldn't be like, like my first ex fiance when I was 20, one, 21. And he now he got, he's mm -hmm, mm -hmm, right. But no, like it was, there was just a lot of shit that I couldn't get through and we're going to leave it at that. So I got this from Trader Joe's, Trader Joe's, Trader Joe's. I'm going to put this in the, in the comment section because for 15 99 you can't beat it. But at the same time, I bought like five different things of wine. So I probably spent about $75 on wine. But I, I like to spend $75 on three bottles versus one like one. You know what I'm saying? I am still technically single. So I am on a budget around here, right? Okay. So we've done that. It's time to get the chicken on so that we can go ahead and... um. Make the guacamole, because once the chicken's on, then we can make the guac. And we'll put the beans on. So our chicken, vinegar, lemon, and water. So you just go ahead and rinse that off. Just rinse all of it off. Rinse the vinegar off of the chicken. And let's move on to the next topic while we season the chicken. And I'll go through what I'm seasoning it with each one, one by one. But what I do do now is I put the chicken on a plate, I pat it dry, and then we, uh, we season it. So there's the plate, grab the napkins so we can pat it dry. Set our wine away from the chicken. When we're dealing with chicken, we just sit the alarm. I'm gonna put the cheese back in the fridge until we're ready for it. Cause that's really like at the end. So there's that. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and put our chicken on the plate. I'm gonna do this here so y'all can actually see a little bit. We're gonna put the chicken on the plate. I am using thighs. Um, one, there was no more breast, they got eaten, and two. Um, thighs just are tastier because they are, you know, just a little more, um, they just have a little more juice to them, a little more juice. That's all I'm saying. You feel me? Um, okay. So we done pat it dry and we done did that. I can bring it back up here. So let's see. We went through the Lapeep. We went through some of the comments from Ada at the table. Our chills, what up? What up? How you doing? Welcome, tuning in. We are making baked chicken pesto ravioli. Um, and what drink is that, Kay? This is a Bordeaux, a twenty, a twenty, a 2020 Bordeaux. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, it's so good. But yes, Trader Joe's has some of the best finds, y'all. I'm trying to tell you, Trader Joe's. 
They got everything. And they got the expensive ones. I just wasn't on that. So let's go ahead and get the seasoning of the chicken. There's quite a few things. Not quite a few. Okay. So we start with garlic powder. Right? Then we go, wait, I do garlic powder on both sides. Okay, then I go in with elote, right? So this is a combination of chili powders, um, chipotle and cumin. And I just do a light amount of that, not nothing too crazy. Um, then I go in with my organic cayenne pepper. Cayenne pepper. Right? And I'm going to go ahead and get the pot on and I'm going to go ahead and get the little bit of oil in the pot. I put a little, a good deal of oil because I do like it to be like somewhat crispy, somewhat crispy, um, but nothing too crazy. You know what I'm saying? Just a little bit, just a little bit of crisp to it. A little bit of crisp, a little bit of crisp. And let me get my tongs so I can make sure that I'm not touching on everything. So. When you're flipping the chicken back and forth, I just use my tongs so I'm not touching the chicken and then touching the seasonings. You know what I mean? But if you do end up touching the chicken and touching the seasonings, what you can do is um, just uh, get a Clorox wipe and wipe all your seasonings down before you put them back into the uh, before you put them back into the pantry. You know, we got to fight salmonella at all costs. OK. Um. I never thought about placing ice under the chicken to keep it cool. Yeah, I just put a few ice cubes in the bowl where I put the vinegar, the water, and the lemon so that it can stay cold. You know what I'm saying? Um, little cayenne. Then we do adobo. We need adobo. Got to have adobo. Okay. Black pepper. We got to do black pepper. Okay. So now let's get into some posts ready to love. Where are we at? We have 35 minutes. <laughs> let's get into some posts ready to love. I hate this damn. I usually ask him to open this. I hate. I hate. I have to use the pepper sh shaker because I can never get this pepper open. So then we got pepper. I'm not using no salt. I don't use salt because all of the seasonings, all of these seasonings, they have salt. Then I use a little poultry seasoning. Poultry seasoning just makes chicken taste good as shit. I don't know what that's about, but <laughs> should be good. Hello. <laughs> so that's pretty much all that I use. Um. Oh, a few, just a little bit of minced garlic. I mean, minced onion. Um, and that's it. So that is our chicken. That is all. So let me go ahead and flip this over and just kind of like get the seasoning off the plate and just flip it over and stuff. So yeah, we're going to get into post ready to love. So post ready to love, since ready to love, I have met someone that I really, really care about. And even though he gets on my last nerves. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's my baby. So I am seeing someone and, you know, that's that. And I hope that, you know, one day y'all get to meet him. Y'all actually will get to meet him sooner than you think. <laughs> um. So what I usually do is I just take a little bit of water in my hands. We will get to see him. Yeah, you will. I take some water in my hands and I just pop that oil to see, are we in business? Just to see if we're in business. I honestly hate this eye because it's always too hot. Like you can put it on the lowest of low and that eye will still be like hot as shit. So I actually may switch it to the other side of the stove. Um, just for safety. Safety measures. 
but our chicken is ready. It's seasoned and it's ready to go. And we're gonna pop it into the oil. Like so. Straight like that. That's it. <laughs> I mean, it's it's easier than it. I don't know if it's easier than it sounds or than it looks or what, but you just pop it in there and you let it, you let it get it, you let it start doing its thing. Let it do its thing. Okay. So it's going to do its thing right here. And in the meantime, what we're going to do is we're going to um, go ahead and make our guacamole because y'all listen. My guacamole is nothing to play with. Like, do not play with my guacamole. Me and my mom won the Black Enterprise guacamole competition. I mean, I think that was in like 20, 2018 or something. But we still won that bitch, okay? We had the best guacamole of everybody. And it was amazing. If I do say so myself. So, uh, yeah, post ready to love. I am dating someone. And I am very much enjoying where things are going. We are just very, very different. We're very different. So <laughs> we're very different, but we're very much alike. And that's what's crazy is that um, you be adding jerk seasoning. <laughs> oh, the wedding. Okay, B. Taylor, hold on. <laughs> relax, relax, relax. Yes, that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to make sure that he really is for me. Because I really love how things started. And and sometimes the, so, the social media of life and like all of these things, the public, you know, public perception and like just having to sh having sharing your lives because we both have our lives in the public a little bit. Having sharing our lives have been very like stressful, like we were <laughs> better in our bubble. But if it's meant to be, then, you know. We're gonna be fine, but I'm I'm happy. So I am going with it. Like I'm not about to, I don't feel like I want to stress over relationships anymore, stress about um how something's happening. I think that if things are right, they'll just kind of happen in the way that they're supposed to. And you don't have to put so much like pressure and intensity on it for it to happen that a, a certain way. Um I didn't say he was no celebrity. He's not no celebrity. Well, he's my celebrity. Okay. I tell him he's a celebrity. Okay. <laughs> um, but yeah, so that is the kind of update on the love life. And that is another reason why I haven't been as active online. You know what I'm saying? Because this relationship is very different than anyone I've dated in the well. This person I'm dating is very different, like I said, to anyone that I've dated in the past. So there's some adjustments. <laughs> yes, my voice did go up an octave. Okay? <laughs> but, like I said, I'm going to be back. I'm going to be back and I'm going to be with it. Um, And, you know, we'll see what happens with my little boo. So, next topic. Yes, yes. Let's see what y'all saying in the chat before we get to this guacamole. So y'all ready to get to the guac? Oh no. I hate this eye, so I'm gonna go ahead and put it on the back eye because I hate the eye. Um, okay, so guacamole, what do we need? I have four avocados. Four avocados. We need one onion. We come over here, we grab us an onion, one onion. We need some parsley. We got that. We need some seasonings and we need some tomato. San Marzano tomatoes, right? So let's get started on the guacamole. I'm gonna cut up the uh I'm gonna cut up the um I love doing appetizers. That's one thing I'm like kind of known for, and I would do that for Bay a lot. Like I'll make my crab dip or I'll make guacamole or I'll make a cheese platter. Like I I just love having like a pre- face to the dinner. I'm into that. So that's the thing. 
you know. Um, but yeah, so uh yeah, I just wanted to say shout out and much love to all my ready to love people. You know what I'm saying? Thank you, Ellis. That's real shit. Um, yeah, shout out to all my ready to love people. Um, you know, I have no hard feelings towards anyone. I hope everyone is doing great. I do see that both of my um, connections are still single. <laughs> so I wish them the very best. <laughs> um, and shout out to the couples that did survive, which I think is only Swayze and Kadian. So shout out to everybody. You know, I'm all for black love. I'm all for people being happy. Um, and that's what I want. I genuinely want that for us all. So I definitely... Uh, Big shout out to the season and big shout out to the upcoming season of Ready to Love. I am very much so, um, you know, I've hung out with quite a few of them and they're great people. Uh, we all actually first met at a cast party back in August. That wasn't supposed to happen. That was under unofficial, unofficial regulations that they brought both cast and all the crew together. Um but yeah, so we met and then we all got together again at the the um, the Labor Day pool party. So if you guys go to my channel, you guys will see me doing the Labor Day pool party. We actually don't even need a whole onion, y'all, because that's pretty much enough. Like I do genuinely think that that's enough onion. So I'm just going to keep cutting this up right here because you do want it kind of small. And yes, I love my uh, cutting board. It is clear. I love a clear cutting board. I don't know why. But yeah, so, ooh, I caught a tear, y'all. Mm. It wasn't me. It was the onions. Ah! <laughs> welcome, welcome in. Welcome in. Hey, boo, how you doing? Right now we're making guacamole. So what we're about to go ahead and do now is open up my, we're going to go ahead and open up the, uh, open up the tears of joy. Nah, that was the, uh, that was the damn, um, that was the damn onions. Cause I'm not using my cutco. Y'all know about cutco. Let me know in the comments if y'all know about cutco. Who know about cutco knives? Who know? So what I do is I just cut it all the way around. Voila. You get rid of that inner piece. You cut out the rest. And you cut it into a nice little bowl. Yep. Um, but yeah, my ready love experience definitely taught me a lot. But it also like reaffirmed and reassured what I already knew that <laughs> I'm a baddie and these people out here, I mean, they're cool and all, but it definitely takes somebody very um, in touch and mature to connect with me and to keep my attention. <laughs> um, not saying you, not saying you men are boring or anything, but. Y'all be kind of boring. Um, <laughs> I'm just joking. <laughs> um, but no, when you with some, when you connecting with somebody on a real basis, y'all can be doing nothing and have a great time. You know what I'm saying? So that is what I'm really looking for in a relationship. Like I, we shouldn't have to do anything for us to have a good time together. We should be able to just be around each other and just have a great time. So that is, you know, what I've, seem to find in my current dating situation. So I'm going with that. But Ready to Love definitely was a hell of an experience just to give y'all the tea. I mean, there's so much that y'all don't see. Y'all literally only see 2% of what actually happens. And then a lot of things are orchestrated. Like you, certain conversations, you're obviously having them from your own perspective. It's organic. It's real. But there are certain situations you have never even been in had it not been for that show. You know, so it's kind of like put put somebody in a pressure cooker and see what they do um, type of situation. Lots of messy, 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 
things that happen because they want to get a, re a certain reaction out of people. So that's just that. Um, and you just kind of have to understand that when you're going through the game, right? So there we go. We have our, uh, I went ahead and did two of the avocado. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and add the onions. Add the onions. There we go. I'm trying to see if I should put a third. I'm trying to see if it's ripe enough. Yeah, I think this one is. So put a third. If I need to. I don't think I need to, actually. I think I think just two is okay because it's just me until tomorrow. <laughs> um, let's check on the chicken over here. Where are our tongs? I mean, the chicken's cooking. She's doing what she's doing. So what we're going to do now is we are going to season it. So I'm going to take, oh, I'm going to take actual minced garlic. So just a small amount, really small amount of minced garlic. Ooh, that's too much. Really small, small amount of minced garlic. And then a, just a tiny bit of garlic powder, right? Some cayenne pepper, some adobo, and just a little bit of basil, teeny tiny bit. Then we get to mixing, 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 and I'm and then I'm gonna gonna put the tomato in here. So you obviously want to mix this down. You want to mash it up really good so it's at a nice guacamole style consistency, right? So I just kind of mix this up a lot. Just keep mixing and mixing. And then we're going to just go ahead and add one San Marzano tomato. I love San Marzano tomato, San Marzano. I actually am going to be cooking later in the week. Uh, maybe tomorrow, making my homemade San Marzano tomato sauce where I boil the tomatoes down and I make, I make the sauce out of them. San Marzano tomatoes just taste completely different than just a regular Roman tomato or anything like that. It just doesn't taste the same. Now that it's all up, no, it's not. This is the right hand. <laughs> um, we add pepper. Add pepper. And it keeps Mixing up your guacamole mix. And then you add the cut up tomato. Okay, chicken. Chicken's over there sizzling. Okay. Open that to make sure we have that ready to go. But yeah, I'm going to add one cut up San Marzano tomato. All right. Then we mix that tomato up. Oh, I might need to add two. No, one is good. And then you just want to make sure that it's really like mushed up. Right? I don't know if y'all can see, but... That's the guacamole, okay? It's beautiful, actually. It looks great. So let me try a little bit to see if we need anything. That's good flavor, but we need more salt and pepper, in my opinion. I didn't put any salt. So around here, I use Trader Joe's Fine Crystallized Sea Salt. That's what we use. We barely use salt, to be honest, but when we do, this is what we use. So I just added a little bit of salt, more salt and pepper. That's good flavor, though. Mm. You can taste that garlic, and you can taste the tomato, the onion. Oh, my gosh. So good. So good. Let's 
So our chicken's cooking. Our Brussels are in the microwave. Our ravioli take no time to cook because you just throw them in the water and and um, go from there. But I do use blue corn um, tortilla chips. This is what I this is what I eat when it comes to tortilla chips. So let's get into it. Okay. A little bit on the little dip on the chip. Huh? Mmm. Mmm. I love appetizers, y'all. You gotta have a good appetizer. Mmm. All right. So since we're winding down, I'm gonna go ahead and get to the Q the Q and A, honey. Let's get to the Q and A. So, what y'all want to know? I feel like I've taught y'all how to make a good little meal. We're going to get to the end shortly because we really just waiting for the chicken. Mmm, 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 mmm. But yes, I'm really excited for 2022. I guess I can go ahead and start the announcements while y'all work on y'all questions. It has not been 15 minutes. <laughs> Smash that like button. Shout out to Ricky in the building. What's going on? Shout out to Taylor May in the building. What's up, y'all? All right, so I put the chicken. Chicken just got flipped. Homemade guacamole is made. Brussels sprouts are in the oven. The only thing we need to do now is put the garbanzo beans on. They take no time. And boil the pasta. So, I think our bonzo beans are a great source of protein. And beans have been linked to living very, very long. So, I think that more of you guys should incorporate. And beans also keep you regulated. Ellis, that's why I use chicken thighs. Because I like it to be crispy, but not dried out. So that's why I use the thighs. It's the perfect medium. All right, so garbanzo beans, you can get these at Trader Joe's, otherwise known as chickpeas. You can also make hummus out of these. That's a good appetizer as well while your family waits for the food to be done. You know what I mean? Get some pita chips. That'd be bomb. Um, so here we go. I just uh opened up the garba can of garbanzo beans right here. And I'm just gonna put this in a pot. Hold on, I'm, I'm gonna show y'all. I'm just having a little bit of a time with this. Oh, okay. With this uh all right, so I just pour the beans in here like so. This is I mean, this is nothing. Your kid can do this. It's all about the seasoning though, okay? So we're gonna add a little bit of Trader Joe's sea salt. A little bit of sea salt. Then we're gonna add some oregano, ground oregano. Quite a bit, like quite a bit, okay? Then we're going to add a tiny bit of crushed red pepper. Tiny bit of crushed red pepper. And we just stir that up. And you put that up on the oven. I'm going to put it on the back eye so I know y'all can't see, but... You see how this guacamole comes in handy? 
<laughs> okay. Oh my God, that is so good. And that was super central. I mean, like, that was so good. Mimi. Listen, it's complicated. But I just can't talk about it right now. I wish I could, but I just can't. Oh, you eat chickpeas too? I love chickpeas, guys. The chicken's almost done. So what we're going to do now is we're going to get to boiling. Let's check on the uh, let's check on the Brussels and then we're going to boil our pasta. Woo! Let me see. Mmm. I don't know what you mean by I see. Surrey, you don't even be talking to Surrey. Surrey always wants somebody to talk to. Hey, am I talking to you? I'm going to put them in just for a few more minutes, but they're really good. Like they're bomb, actually. Um, so let's just go ahead and put the pasta on and get the pasta going. Just fill this up with water. This is pretty easy and simple as well. I told y'all this meal could be made in less than an hour. So, um, moving on to some questions. Do I have a vision board? Uh, do I have a vision board? Let me see. And or a yearly planner. I don't have either at this point, but they're both on my list of things to have. I actually bought some of the stuff I need for my vision board. I just have to complete the vision board. And as far as the yearly calendar, I really have only planned Q1. I haven't planned the rest of the uh, year. But what I will say is that I did start working somewhere new this in Q3. And so uh, I'm super excited about my promotion and just everything that I'm doing with my new job. So that's another thing that's also kind of taken me away where I haven't been on Instagram. I, mean, I haven't been on YouTube because I got to focus. You know what I mean? And like learning my new job and making sure that I bring value. So that's another thing that's had me pretty busy. Um, what I do is I take my cut up onion and I put it like in a bowl like this because it's just easier for next time you cook, you already have onion like cut up. It's perfect. So I went ahead and put the um, water on. And the beans are on. And the chicken. Let's see how we're doing with the chicken. So see, our chicken is here. Our chicken got a nice color on it. It looks delicious. I'm ready. So. Uh-oh. Some pop on me. Okay, so the chicken has a great little color to it. So I think the chicken is done. Mmm. 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 Mm. Yo, give me a star in the chat. If y'all cooking, or if y'all not, if this making y'all want to cook. Okay. Uh, so let's see, we got any more questions in the chat? Love to see you on screen more. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna let my mods handle some of these haters in the chat. It's it's cool, it's cool. Y'all can think whatever y'all want. Like, I, I was there. <laughs> yeah, yep. So as soon as the, the water boils up, then I'll go ahead and put the, the pasta on. You really only let it cook for like three, five minutes. Then I'll go ahead and get it in the baking tray so we can start getting the baking done. Mm. So for tonight's pesto, we're going to use Trader Joe's. Pesto al Javese. 
Genovese, my bad. When I don't have time to make my own pesto, this is the go-to. I haven't found one as good as this anywhere. People who don't know about pesto, I mean, they might taste all the same to you, but they just don't taste the same to me. So I definitely don't understand. Hi, baby. How's everyone doing? Hi, Nazar. Hi. Thank you so much, honey. Thank you. Um, yeah, I know they be in love with us. They really do. I, because me, people I don't like, I don't speak about. And if I am speaking about something, I respond to whatever that is. And that's it. You won't see me talking about them all the time because I don't like them. <laughs> I thought that's how it go. But I guess not. Mm -mm -mm. Anyway, let's get to the announcements since we're at our hour mark, right? Right? So let's get into the announcements. The Kay and Kayla show is coming back in 2023. I'm super excited about it. I can't give out that many details, but that is something that I was given approval to drop today. So we cannot wait to be back on your airwaves in 2023. It's going up in 2023. So many amazing things are going to be happening. But definitely look out for me and Kay to be back in these YouTube streets. January 2023. Woo! So that's one thing to celebrate. Hey, what a great sponsor. I cannot wait to, to announce the details. Hey, 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 hey. Yep, so... That's that. That's announcement number one. Ding, 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 ding. I need some sound effects. <laughs> Thank you, guys. I'm super excited. I know y'all miss Kay, so she's ready to come back. We're ready to come back and just keep doing what we were doing, which was pushing the culture forward, giving our opinions, creating a space for people to share. Okay, so you know what to do when you need water to boil and it ain't boiling the way you want to boil? You put that top on there. So that's exactly what I did over there. I'm gonna go ahead and take the chicken off and put it on some, a napkin because it is a little bit oily. And then we'll go from there. But that's announcement number one. Are y'all ready for announcement number two? We'll be taking our chicken out of the oil. We'll be putting it. This, this chicken, bro, this chicken looks so good. Oh, my goodness. Chicken looks amazing. And I don't know what it is with this eye, but it's all right because I'm moving. Another announcement is I'm about to buy a house, guys. So all the downgrading has been worth it because we're about to be homeowners, baby. Qualified. Everything is ready. I just got to find the right house. So that's another Awesome, awesome, awesome thing happening over here. So I'm super, super excited about that. And I'm hopeful to be in a home by my birthday, which y'all know is June. So shout out to my loan officer, finally getting that done and approved for a specific house that I didn't end up getting. But I know I'm going to find one that's great. So I'm super excited about that. So cheers. <laughs> And cheers to all of us out there trying to become homeowners, just doing the best that we fucking can. And being a, like this adulting shit, it's not fair. Okay. The, the, my mom, my parents got the house that I grew up in. Like, and the, our grandparents, don't get me started. This whole adulting thing, I mean, we are paying like way more across the board for everything. So that's a little frustrating, but it is what it is. All right, so the chicken is done. Y'all see this chicken? It's bomb, okay? So 
Now that the chicken is done, the chickpeas are slowly cooking. Let me check on the Brussels sprouts. I'm going to take those out in about five minutes or so. But we're going to go ahead and get started with baking and getting everything done. And then I'll make one more announcement. Okay, so let's get our baking tray. I don't actually know what I'm even baking this in, to be honest, because my grandma took that. Oh, here it is. But my grandma took that other baking tray, but we're just going to use this one. I like clear stuff. There's a lot of clear stuff around here. <laughs> but we're going to go ahead and get started with the baking tray. So you take your baking tray, right? You put the chicken over here. I'm going to move that back there because that is a problem and that's up way too high. So I'm going to put these seasonings up and then we're going to go ahead and get everything in the baking tray so that we can go ahead and end this meal and get to eating, honey. I'm hungry and I'm ready to eat. I've been ready to eat. But like I said, this meal you can make for your family. Hold on, let me come back. Like I said, this meal that you can make for your family in less than an hour, this is just taking longer because I'm doing all this talking and running my mouth. But you should have no issue making this meal for your family in a very quick amount of time. So don't forget how necessary it is to... Make sure that when your wife or whoever does the cooking is cooking, that if it's not a Saturday or a Sunday, people got jobs, okay? Don't be asking your wife for no meal that costs, that take three hours to make when you know she got a job, okay? I mean, damn. But she can make this, honey, in less than an hour, and it's going to be good. I promise you that. See our chickpeas, our chickpea. I just give them a good stir. And then I'm going to let them go ahead, cook down, and let the water cook out of it. Okay, so our water is ready. So the ravioli I'm going to be using today is the cacio pepe ravioli. So, again, this is stuff with black pepper, ricotta, parmesan, and pecorino cheese. And pecorino is one of my favorite cheeses. Nothing can stop me from um, being around Pecorino. Like that whole going vegan thing. I mean, I really need to do it because dairy really is not good for our bodies. But I mean, whatever. I mean, we, 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 you know what? We're working towards it. We're working towards it. I am. I'm working towards it. That's why I'm having the, the garbanzo beans. That's why I'm having the Brussels sprouts because we are working towards eating healthier and things like that. Let me see what y'all got going on in the chat. It costs to even breathe at this point. I know that's right. It costs a lot of money to live. Like our parents were able to like, exactly. This adulting thing is so ghetto. You should see how much my brother had to spend just to get a tag on his car the other day. I'm like, what? This stuff is weird. All right, Robin says, weird question. How do you manage to stay in shape? You always look so fit and amazing. Oh, thank you, baby. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. I'm not going to take all the credit though. To be quite honest, 50% of this is straight genetics. It's straight genetics. Um, I come from very fit. Both of my parents were, are very fit and have always been. And my mom was actually very petite. She didn't get a, that big ass until she had me and my brother and I already got the big ass. So I'm wondering how much bigger it's going to get back when I have some babies. Um, but yeah. And then the other part is I was a ballerina since the age of nine. So from nine to like now, but in serious training from like nine to 20, I was seriously in a very serious professional ballet company. Then I transferred to a very serious competition dance company where we travel. One Austin and dancer, uh, spent a summer in New York, danced with the Rockettes. And then I was dancing with artists, major training in LA, dancing at Millennium. Like my body through its full development was always like training to be a dancer. So I think my body just kind of was like, it's like if you ran track. And I also did run track as well. I just couldn't balance the two. So I stopped running track after the Junior Olympics when I was like 11. Um, but yeah, and that and I start and I work out. I have a trainer and I see my trainer three times a week and I really eat healthy. I swear to God, y'all, I eat a Caesar salad like three times a week. And um, 
I make sure to eat a good breakfast that isn't sugar. People don't understand the importance of breaking your fast and how it starts your day and, and can just have so much control of how your whole day goes. So you should start with a green drink, which I love my spinach apple um, green drink I make on the on the Ninja. Um, and then something healthy like like fruit, some eggs or a good source of protein. That's how you have to start your morning It's just to, for your muscles. to like everything is, is training. You got to train your body. You know what I mean? A um, little bit more boards. Okay. Um, yeah. So that's that's pretty much how I stay fit and in shape. Thanks for the question. It's not weird at all. Um, my mom just made homemade tacos. Honey, I love some tacos. Y'all gonna see that on here one Sunday because I do plan to continue um, that. But uh, thank you, baby. I do think that um, three hundred dollars worth of groceries today don't even look like very, I mean I mean well that depends on where you're shopping at but I'm telling you because I just went grocery shopping I spent $160 on all these groceries and I, I mean I think this I think I'll get through the week but a week and that's just me by myself so imagine if I had a family not just me by myself but me and a plus one who would probably be here like three of the days but I mean yep so anyway we're gonna go ahead and throw the pasta in that's all we do is we throw it in the water. And that's going to be in there for like five minutes. Yep. So let's go ahead and prep our baking tray. So I always wash, I wash stuff out. I don't care if I just washed it and put it in the cabinet. I always wash it out again. I don't know. So all I put in the baking tray is just a little bit of olive oil in the bottom of the baking tray. Um, I'll let y'all see. Hold on. Let me, um, let me get this together. All right. Okay. So just a little bit of olive oil here. Well, that's too much. I didn't mean to do all that. And there's some water left in there. Let me just, I was going a little bit too quickly. Hold on. Just pour that off. All right. So a little bit of oil in the bottom. Because when you put the pasta in there, you don't want it to stick. Okay. But the pasta isn't quite done. So I'll give y'all a little bit of break until, they're, until that's done. But the chickpeas are coming along. And we can go ahead and take the Brussels sprouts out of the oven. Because I'm pretty sure they're finished. Yeah, you see that nice little color on them? Oh, yeah. Hmm. God, this is hot. But it's good, though. Hmm. That's so good. Mm. I'm about to cleanse for the new year so I can lose 15 pounds. Girl, don't worry about the weight. I never worry about weight. I only worry about inches. I got tape measure in my room. I don't even got a scale, right? Because I, I don't know. It psychs me out. I just feel like if I'm eating healthy, I'm working out properly, it should all go together, right? I'm drinking a lot of water, which speaking of, I took a water out and started drinking it before this thing. Um, for some reason it's gone. Oh, I'll put it back in the fridge. Mm -hmm. And then I just measure myself. Because to me, it's all about what can I fit into? You know what I mean? Like, But B. Taylor, you look good to me, so... You want to lose 15 pounds? That's all on you, baby. But you look good to me. But I know we all got goals because people say the same thing to me all the time. Like, okay, why do you even work out? And I'm like, because I want to stay looking like this. I really do. We're going to give the pasta two more minutes. Mm, mm, mm. So I want to ask you guys, though, what kind of content do you guys like from me the most? That is something I want to know. If you're watching the replay, drop it in the um in the comment section. 
you're watching live here today. Thank you. I got 40 of you, 40 of you beautiful people here. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate y'all so much. Share the link, hun. But I need to know what y'all think in the chat and in the comment section. What kind of content do y'all like seeing from me more? Do y'all like when I host panels? Do y'all like when I do my vlogs? Because y'all know I'll be outside. Outside. <laughs> do y'all like um, when I do my reviews? Um, I also have some try-on videos coming. Y'all can get those whether y'all like them or not. But um, so what do y'all like more? And we got Cooking with Kayla. That's going to be every Sunday moving forward. So what do y'all like more? Let me know in the comment section what y'all like. Mwah. Nothing better than homemade guacamole. It is the perfect appetizer for your family. And if your sons don't like it, your kids don't like it, they're going to like it. They hungry. The food ain't ready. Just put this on the, on the couch or on the table with some chips. They'll eventually start eating it, especially if it's good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So good. So good. All right, y'all. It's time. It's time to take the um, pasta out. Y'all see how fast that was? Woo, baby. So it's literally only been a few minutes. Y'all see that? I'm telling you, right? But you do want to check them. Let me just do a quick check. Yep. Then what I'm going to do is drain them. Quick drain. Ready? A quick drain. Drain the pot, drain the ravioli out like so. Then what we're gonna do is we're going to transfer them to the baking dish. Yep, transfer them to the baking dish. We're going to move it around so we can just make sure that all of the. So then what we're going to do. Is now that we have it in the baking dish. I'm going to bring our chicken over. Bring our chicken over. We're going to cut our chicken up with the quickness we got to grab our parmesan cheese so this is parmesan um and then asiago and then this some regular parmesan as well and then we have our pesto right here right so what we're going to do is we're going to cut up this chicken real quick with the quickness, nothing too crazy, just so that when we get ready to eat it, it'll easily come apart. Yes, I cut it on the paper towel because I'm still trying to get that oil out as long as I can, right? All right. So we open our pesto, a little bit of that pesto oil. Ooh. And then we're going to put pesto onto the pasta, spread it onto the pasta. No particular fashion, but just a little bit. before we make our pesto sauce. We still gotta make it make it a little bit creamier. So once we do that, 
Then we add the remaining pesto to a bowl. Add it to the bowl, honey. Add it to the bowl. Now, if you make your own homemade um, pesto sauce, which I'm going to make next time. I don't have time today, honey. Um, then make sure that you, uh, if you don't make your own home pesto sauce, remember pesto does have nuts. So if you have any kind of nut allergy, I'm warning you right now, even though that's still your own responsibility to look at ingredients and shit, but I don't mind. So you add a little bit of pesto like so to a bowl. And you add just the smallest amount of heavy cream, really small amount. Right? And we mix it up. We mix it, we mix it, make it a nice, nice little sauce. Right? Now we go ahead and we place our chicken. We place it. Across the pasta. Like so. All right, y'all, look. Our chickpeas cooked down. This is how they should look. All the water should have cooked out of them, and they look like that with a nice little crispiness on the top. That's how you know the, chick the chickpeas are done. All right, then you what you do, add a little bit of water to this, a little bit of water, put the top back on, you shake that hoe, pour it in the sauce, mix that up some more. Mm -hmm. Then we cover, we begin our coverage process. And covering the chicken with the pesto sauce. Uh-oh. Okay, a little bit of a mess. But just make sure all of the chicken is, is completely covered. You don't want any pieces getting left out. And I bought two just in case, but I just genuinely don't think I need to because I'm going to get the, the brush and kind of spread it out even more. But I want to get everything out the bowl first. Yes, honey. I just love this, y'all. Man, I can eat this like three times a week. All right, I grab this just to make sure, just to make sure every part is pestoed. Just make sure every part is pestoed. Y'all see that? Mm-hmm. All right, so from there, we grab our Parmesan cheese. And we go ahead and we do a sprinkle. We a sprinkle, we a sprinkle.
And I bought some more Parmesan with the Pecorino mix just a little bit because I do love Pecorino. And I think Pecorino goes really good with the, uh, it goes really fucking good <laughs> with the, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, this has Asiago, Asiago Rom Romano. Um, all right so i just put just a little bit of the pecorino i'm sorry i keep saying pecorino of the asiago on top of here too right and that's it y'all it's ready it's ready to go in the oven we're gonna put it in the oven And she's going to be in there for probably like 15, 20 minutes, not that long, because the chicken's already cooked and the pasta's already cooked. It's just baking it together now. Um, but when you bake it together, it gives it a different consistency for sure. So there's that. But yeah, oh, wait, why is this still on? Oh, no. I think these are still on. Okay. All right, and we put this back in the fridge. Cheese back in the fridge. Our water pot and all of that is all finito. And you just wipe, wipe the shit down. So yeah, 15, 20 minutes and that'll be done, you guys. And we can eat. That took a long time because I'm doing this on live with y'all. <laughs> But honestly, if you just kind of got to making this meal, I promise you, you can make it in like 45 minutes. An hour tops if you don't feel like making the guacamole and stuff. But it honestly doesn't take too much time. But yeah, so that's the meal, y'all. I'm super excited. We're going to just chat until it's done. And then I'm going to take the first bites with y'all. And then I'm off with my evening. Because I know it's getting late and we have things to do in the morning. Hmm. I'm telling y'all. I'm telling y'all. This is called baked um, baked chicken pesto ravioli. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. It's so good, y'all. It's one of my signatures. It's my easy. It's my go-to. And I didn't. I didn't make the pesto myself this time. But whenever I do, I make it, and then I put it in a little container like this, and just leave it in the fridge for when maybe you want to make pasta um, or something like that comes up. Once you go through all that work to make the pesto yourself, trust me, you're going to put it up somewhere in the fridge. Um, but yeah, so I hope you guys have enjoyed this evening. What was the last announcement that I had? Oh, um, in March, I will be back on your TV screens. You know, so I'm excited about that announcement. But I think I announced that on B, B Taylor's channel. Um, but that is something else. And I'm working on my book as well. My book will be available New Year's. My ebook, right? I'm going to do a full, actual, real hard paperback book that will be available on my birthday. But the prelude ebook will be available on January 1st. 2023. So shout out to that. I'm super excited. Shout out to my editor um, and all my people that helped me put this together. I love y'all so much. Um, so I'm super, super excited about that. So that's pretty much the last announcement with my ebook that's coming out. Um, so I'm super excited about that. I also have merch out for today with Kay. Um, my talk show is going on a tour going to be inter um, interviewing two different artists, one international Afrobeat artist, another local Miami um, pop artist, um, and then have an interview with um, a big Miami magazine this Tuesday. So I have a bunch of stuff like that I'm working on that I'm super excited about. Um, and I'm just trying to, uh, today the message today at church, the message was, to stop capping. 
stop capping. Like we live in a society where cap is so normalized that y'all will come at me and say, oh, she's 30, she's not married because I want to live in my truth. Because there's a lot of married people on, online looking beautiful and they capping. I know because y'all niggas is in my DM, but they married asses. You know what I'm saying? So it's like the best thing you can do moving into 2023 is be honest with yourself be honest with the people around you. So nobody can get it twisted when you're honest all the time. Like, you know what it is. You know what I'm saying? Um, and stop capping because God is not man. God is the creator of the universe. And once he says it, it's settled. He don't make no mistakes. He don't go back on his word. He don't cap. But you can't either and think that you're going to get the maximized blessing that he has for you. So for me, I'm living in my truth and it's going to be what it's going to be. I'm going to be happily married one day. I'm going to have a happy family one day very soon. And I know that, but I'm not going to cap to get it. And if something isn't working out with somebody, whatever. I'm not going to make something work for social media. I'm going to do what's best for me in terms of the purpose and the plan that I'm on with God. And it's easy to get separated from that sometimes. It really is. But when I talk to other people, and even today I was giving a good friend encouragement, and I talk to other people and I'm giving them encouragement, it's not even like I'm helping me. I even told her, I said, girl, don't even worry about it. She's like, oh, I don't mean to dump this on you. I said, girl, don't even worry about it. I don't mind. I'm glad to be a vessel for you. You know what I mean? Because I'm a person you can talk to. I ain't going to tell your business. I'm not going to judge. And I'm here to give you encouragement. And the encouragement I'm giving you, I needed it, honestly. Everything I was telling her, I fucking need it. You know? So that's definitely a thing. And... You know, I'm just grateful. I'm really grateful that I come from really good family, really good stock. I've made mistakes, but I've definitely charted a great path. And I'm super excited for where it goes. I'm super excited for whatever man gets to benefit off of this, all this amazingness right here. You know what I mean? He's very lucky. Um, our children are going to be amazing. I mean, these jeans, I told y'all, it'd be the jeans, the skin and shit. It's the jeans. They asked me, What's your skincare routine? Um, yeah, I have a cleanser, a toner, and a moisturizer, but I don't do nothing special. Twice a month, I do do my, um, where I have my, um, my, uh, fuck. <laughs> I have my facial brush and I have the steamer and I do a mask and things like that just because of the air, the pollution, that hard ass Florida water, um, just to keep things cleansed. But I really don't do that. It's really genetics. I'm really honestly blessed. So that's just what I want to share with you all this Sunday on this fine Sunday dinner. I uh, hope that y'all uh, enjoyed that. Let's see what's going on in these comments, what y'all talking about. Um, oh, it's called chicken, pest, uh, baked chicken, um, I'm sorry, baked chicken pesto ravioli. That went down wrong. Okay, what else y'all talking about? Hey, Amen. Y'all already know. <coughs> y'all, that really went down wrong. Thank you so much, baby. Appreciate you. Because of my honesty, they hate it when you said 30K win and when you demand respect and you find and it hurts them. <coughs> Let's get into this. 
I don't know how many times I have to tell this fucking story. I did not demand no 30K ring. <coughs> I did not demand a 30K ring. Okay. The budget that my ex fiance gave me when I was looking for rings, we were talking about getting married because he proposed without a ring. He proposed in like a spur of the moment, just a really loving moment that was so us. And it was just like, I just want to marry you. Like, I want you to be my wife. Like, it wasn't like, it wasn't like a setup and flowers and all that. It was very organic and true to us. It was without a ring. It was super sincere. It was like a four minute speech. And there wasn't a ring. But he proposed. I said, yes, I was happy. And then we were like, okay, let's go pick out a ring. And the budget I was given was between 20 and 30,000. That was the budget I was given. To go look for a ring and my mom because my mom was helping and the one that i found that i liked that we settled on was 26. why people are mad at me about that because i said that i have no idea right but again that was a drop in the bucket for this man and i was very young and you know i thought that that was some shit too i was hype off that Little did I know I was getting myself into a Tyler Perry movie. Okay. Y'all think that that sometimes the material things, there's there's a trade-off with certain people. Those narcissists, they'll kill you if you let them. Anyway, uh, so yeah, that was that situation. Calm down, relax. Y'all can't get mad at something that a man wanted to get me. I did not demand it because my second fiance ring was nowhere close to that. That thing was barely 10. Like it was, it, I was happy with it. It's not about the price. Whatever your man can afford is whatever your man can afford. You should be happy about that. The question is, did he get y'all a house? Are you on his life insurance policy? Those are more important questions in the ring. But I'm also a person where I don't, I'm not looking for a big ceremony. Like I really just want a very intimate wedding and a nice ring and a nice house. Okay. Um, I've worked in party planning for years and it's a lot of money. Weddings cost a lot of money. So for me, that's just not a priority. I want a nice ass ring and a nice ass house and we'll get to the party whenever we get to it. But we got to get married on our, on our own accord and just do our thing. But that's just me. Everybody can live your life your own way. Um, yeah. So yeah, I feel like I've always been very honest. And like I say, I love people all the time. I just don't care what you people think. And that's one thing about Bay that I love. Like, he doesn't give a fuck what y'all have to say. He even gets mad at me when I'm even looking at y'all comments or entertaining it. We will literally get into a fight because it's like, put your phone down. Stop worrying about those motherfucking nobodies. <laughs> okay. I'm fine, baby. So... Y'all got me in trouble. Me trying to defend myself when I don't need to do that. Pow, pow, pow. <laughs> All right. She looking good. About five more minutes and it's time to eat. Hey, 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 hey. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put up the guacamole. In a cute little container. Actually, in this one, put up the guacamole so I can have this with my eggs in the morning. It's going to be so good. Mm. Hallelujah. Them eggs. Y'all better put some guacamole on top of y'all eggs. That thing is good. So I'm just going to go ahead and just. into the bowl. Right? And then that's going to be good for tomorrow. See that? <clears throat> so this can go on eggs. This could be a snack in your man's bag or in your kid's bag with a little bag of like, you can get them like a little plastic thing like this. 
and put some chips in it like that. Put that in their lunchbox. I love making lunchbox for like, I used to make one for, you know, someone in the past, like making your man's lunch or making your kid's lunch. It's so cute, right? And it's a way to leave like little, little cute notes. I learned that from my friend, Ashley, her husband ended up passing away two years ago, but he would always leave like the cutest little notes in her lunchbox. You know what I mean? Like, especially when she was having issues with some of those girls at work, he, he would leave little cute messages like, have a beautiful day, baby. Don't let them pose at your job. You know, get on your nerves and I'm gonna fuck you when you get home. Like, I used to be like, ooh, I like these notes. Start leaving some notes. Okay? So yeah, leave cute notes for your kids or your man or your woman. Slip it in their lunch pail, slip it in their purse and their little work bag. They see you throughout the day. Just effort. That's what relationships take. They take effort. Something little like that takes no time, but it's cute. And it makes your partner or your kid or your person feel loved. And those are things that I think we miss. We miss those things. I miss those things. I miss old school 90s cute shit, you know? And I'm not going to let anybody on YouTube tell me I'm in a fantasy or Disney did one over on me for wanting stuff like that in my relationship or in my, in my household, my family. I will have that. Okay? I will have that. Mm-hmm. Show sure will. Show sure will. And during the holidays, I'm going to leave cute holiday candy, put cute holiday candy in my um kids' backpacks. You know, have y'all seen those cute little trees that Reese's Cups made? Oh, my God. They're so cute. Anyway, um, time to take the chicken out and plate the food up, but let's eat. Woo! Look at that. It's sizzling. Y'all hear that? <laughs> All right, so let's plate it up and eat, y'all. I'm going to plate it up. So we can eat. Put these away. You know what you need? You need your good old rusty, trusty little clip. You use the clip. I know y'all do. How to use the clip. All right. So we did that. We're going to put the salsa up in the refrigerator. And I'm going to go ahead and plate this plate up. And then we have our leftover onion and our guac that's going to go in the fridge. And always wash dishes as you go. I literally only have three dishes to wash because I washed everything else as we were going. But I have a few to wash because I didn't want to wash while I was with y'all. You know what I mean? So let's go ahead and plate it up. Made it up. Plate it up. It's kind of late, so I'm not about to eat a ton. But I'm about to eat a good amount. Don't get it twisted. Well, I guess I'll plate it over here for y'all. Woo! Time to eat. All right, what y'all saying over here in these comments? What y'all saying, what y'all saying, what y'all saying? Okay, so let's go ahead and, whoo, forgot this is hot. I'm gonna go ahead and do a little part right here. Straight like that, ooh.
It's late at night, y'all, so I'm not about to eat a ton. But that's good enough for me. All right. So y'all ready to eat? Y'all ready to get to it? And the final meal, chicken. So it's a baked pesto ravioli. And voila. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So let's take a bite. <laughs> I'm trying to do too much, y'all. That's it. That's it right there, y'all. That's so good. Oh my God, I haven't checked my phone. It's my mom telling me the phone bill due. Thanks, mom. This is what happened when you get on family plan with family members. Okay, people always want to remind you of shit. Okay? Anybody ask you? Anyway, this is so good, y'all. Again, this is a meal you can make in an hour or less for your family. I uh, will link everything in the description once the video is posted, the playback. Mm. Check these. Mm. Y'all, yeah. it's so good. Yes, honey. Yes, B. Taylor, I see you cooking. So I hope that y'all learned where I've been at, what I've been doing, what's been going on with me. Those are a few announcements for you um, that I'm hopeful that you guys, you know, are excited about. I am glad that you guys were willing to come into my kitchen with me. Um, and do a little something. We got 10 minutes left. I don't know how this went from one hour to two hours, but you tore your food up? Yes, girl, honey. I'm over here talking to y'all when I'm just trying to eat. But mm, 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 mm. I'm telling you, a red blend with the pesto just the way that pesto is made with the nuts and things like that. A red blend is always better. Always better. So I heard from y'all. What kind of content y'all want me to be doing? I've seen quite a few vlogs, more vlogs which I can do. We said more vlogs, more cooking, more reactions. Because I haven't done a good reaction in a while. But I think I'm going to start doing some reactions. So just some little stuff that I see happening in the YouTube streets. I think maybe it's time for me to get back to doing some reactions. I will be having some try-ons coming because I do have two different partnerships I'm working with now for clothes. So I do have some try-ons coming. Um, and then I will, I am getting back to um, dancing and doing dance stuff. So I'm excited about wherever that's going to go. Mimi says a Q&A with my dad. Oh, oh wow. So y'all was feeling my dad on Ready to Love, huh? Y'all was feeling him? I've been getting so many compliments. Thank y'all. We look so much alike. I look, look more like my dad than my mom, but I'm honestly, me and my brother, I think honestly a, a, a good mix of the both. I just think that I got slightly more my dad and my brother got slightly more my mom, but we're a very, 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 like it's really close. Like we're, we're, I'm mixed so well with 
the both of them, which I'm very happy with because they both have strong genes. So I'm hopeful that whoever I end up settling down with, you know, we'll see how the gene pool goes. Because I would hate to carry a kid for all that time and then he come out looking nothing like me. I mean, that shit sucks. I heard about that shit. I heard about it. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm. I heard about that thing. I did. But um, but yeah, so the Q&A with my dad, I may be able to arrange that for the holidays. But that's the thing is that I think that my family's coming down here for the holidays, but I don't know if my dad is. You know what I mean? So how am I going to do that? Like, how? Well, make sure y'all give this video a thumbs up. The food was delicious. So good. Thank y'all for cooking with Kayla tonight. I'm going to be doing the after show on Instagram Live right now. Hey, Instagram Live. So make sure y'all y'all give this video a thumbs up. I love y'all so, so much. Thank y'all for tuning in. I appreciate it. And I just appreciate y'all for rocking with me, the people who subscribe, the people that come to my show. Quite a few of y'all was in here in the building tonight in the live chat, giving it to them. Shout out to all of my people. New Taylor Crew season. Um, shout out to uh, Ricky was in the building, Queen Sheba. Shout out to everybody. We got Mimi, Ellis. We got literally every. We got Daryl. Um, who else? Uh, big, big shouts out um, to Miss Miles, Nazar. Um, if I'm forgetting you, I'm so, so sorry. Oh, Robin. Shout out to Robin. Thank you just everyone that is in the chat, everyone that pulled up tonight to Cooking with Kay. I appreciate it. We just slayed this meal. Shit's so good. Um, stuff. Stuff is so good. I, I'm trying to stop cursing, y'all. I'm trying. Um, but I really appreciate y'all. I love y'all long time. A Q&A. Y'all want a Q&A with both my parents? Well, both my parents are remarried to other people, but I do think my parents will be good for giving you advice on marriage and divorce for them to both be divorced and went out to find love and marriage elsewhere. I definitely think that that'd be a, a great lie. So I will see if I can. Um, thank you, Taylor May. Thank you so much. I will see if I can set that up for the holidays, but cooking with Kayla it will be recurring moving forward on my channel every Sunday here at eight o'clock, one hour Eastern time. Um, we'll be cooking something different every week. I am moving next month, so the setting will change, but I won't. <laughs> um, but thank y'all so much. I love y'all so much. Make sure y'all subscribe to the channel. If you're not subscribed to the channel, I mean, I'm just so disappointed in you. Because like, what is it that you got going on? No, I'm just kidding, y'all. Thank y'all so much. Make sure you share the video. I need to see in the comment section what content y'all want to see the more, more of. I saw a lot of people saying vlogs, a lot of people saying reviews. So let me know in the comment section what y'all want to see. Um, I appreciate a bunch of y'all pulling up tonight. Yes, BB, show love in the chat. Thank you for the super chats. Um, and I love y'all so, so much. Let's see y'all next time right here on Kula.com. After show on Instagram Live right now.